Welcome to the Orton Gillingham Online Academy's YouTube channel. Here we share tips and information to make teaching the English language rewarding for both you and your students. In this video, I will cover the phonemic awareness skills. Phonemic awareness is being aware of and having the ability to manipulate individual sounds uh, or phonemes within a spoken word. Phonemic awareness is important because it sets the foundation for being able to logically connect the sound in a word with the symbol or symbols that represent that sound. So how does phonemic awareness differ from phonological awareness? Well, phonological awareness is an umbrella term that includes phonemic awareness. It can be broken down into four developmental levels. So there's a word level, a syllable level, onset rhyme level, and phoneme level. At the word level of phonological awareness, students should be able to determine the number of words in a spoken sentence and to blend and then segment the two parts of a compound word such as the word doghouse. At the syllable level, a student should be able to blend and then segment the parts of a multisyllabic word, starting with two syllable words such as magnet. The onset rhyme level includes uh, students being able to determine whether two words rhyme, generate a rhyming word for a given word, and blend and segment words into their onset and rhyme. So for example, the word cat, the onset is k and the rhyme is at. The final most sophisticated level of phonological awareness is phonemic awareness. This is the focus of this video. So how do you assess phonemic awareness and for what ages is phonemic awareness assessment appropriate? Uh, begin to assess phonemic awareness in mid-kindergarten and continue throughout early elementary grades as needed. So once a student demonstrates decoding ability, phonemic awareness instruction is no longer needed. If a student is in a higher grade level and continues to struggle with decoding, assessment and practice in phonemic awareness skills may still be appropriate. Can phonemic awareness be taught and what does that instruction look like? Students do improve significantly in phonemic awareness skills when they are taught, modeled, and practiced. It's important to note that phonemic awareness instruction should never be an end in, an, in itself, but always be taught keeping in mind its connection to phonics. Phonemic awareness instruction should be explicit with clear instructions and teacher modeling. It should be systematic, moving from easier tasks to the more difficult ones. So for example, blending and segmenting words with two phonemes is easier than using words with three or more phonemes. Phonemic awareness should be engaging, interactive, and fun. Games are a great way to practice this skill. While letters are not used, concrete materials such as cubes, chips, buttons can be used to make it easier for the students to manipulate the phonemes. Okay, there are seven phonemic awareness skills. The first phonemic awareness skill is isolation or the, the ability to distinguish the first, last, and middle sounds in a word. So what is the first uh, sound in map? What is the last sound? What is the middle sound? The next one is identity. Identity is the ability to identify the pairs of words with the same beginning, middle, and ending sound. So of the words map, man, and toy, which two begin with the same sounds? Blending or making words from isolated sounds such as, what is the word d, a, Segmentation is our next phonemic awareness skill, which is separating a word into its individual sounds. How many sounds are in the word pot? What are those sounds? The next is deletion, or the ability to delete a beginning or ending phoneme from a given word. So say snail without the s. The next one is addition, or the ability to make a new word by adding a phoneme. Add t to the beginning of rain. The next phonemic awareness skill is substitution or the ability to make a new word by replacing one phoneme for another. In the word fan, change the f to 
Mm. Research has shown that blending and segmenting are the two skills that are most critical for reading success. The National Reading Panel recommends for kindergarten about 10 to 15 minutes of phonemic awareness practice per day can be short activities, more time given for small groups for those who are struggling in phonemic awareness skills. So for first grade, about 10 minutes of practice per day for the first three months of school and more if needed for those students who struggle. The second grade uh, instruction is usually only needed for those students who do not automatically recognize some words and who are reading well below grade level. Well, I hope this video was helpful for you. If you liked it, please be sure and give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We uh, really enjoy this time with you. So see you next time.